I gotta go red chip for this one. Full power. Ah! It's over, SQ! A few minutes later. Oh, Graham is so cheap. Ram, right? What's important against Ram? So, Ram is really, really fucking annoying for everyone, including Chip. Chip is one of the few characters that could kind of like fuck with her a little bit. If she's blocking, you know what I mean? Chip could kind of bully her on, on defense until she has bar for mortal bar to bottom. First of all, against every character, it's all about round start options. Okay, so I'm gonna put a nice little notepad here. What is Ram most likely to do at round start? Round start is super important in all matchups. Super, super important. So I'm gonna list out round start. Here's what I'm gonna do. Matchups, matchup tips, right? We're gonna go through round start. What do we react to? Okay, because every character has a, you know, a thing to react to, everybody. What? Can we punish on block? What do we keep in mind? First off, we're gonna look at round start. In, at the round start, Ram likes to do a few things. She likes to walk back and far slash. She likes to press 5K and she likes to press 2K. Those are the options. And funny enough, Ram is, plays like, like Chip in a lot of ways. She doesn't like to overextend. She likes to use far slash. She buffers 5K in neutral, buffers 2K. All of those options are super, super strong. And that's exactly how she plays the start of the round. Let's do the start of the round. What is she gonna do? I'm gonna far slash. Oh shit, 5K beats far slash. Let's try it again. What Does 2K work here? No. Her 5K, her far slash, and I have her dashing. She likes to do that too. Those are the most common round starts from Ram, right? 5K, far slash. So do we have anything that'll beat this one first? Let's try this. 5K, what about my 5K? 5K trades. 2D, 2D whiffs. 5H, 5H works. 6H. 6H hits. Walk back. Down back, react. Okay. So that's one option is to down back, wait for the whiff, and then put her into pressure with, with, uh, with 2K. That's one option. Or try to far slash. So that's one option. However, what about far slash? Now let's see far slash, what happens if you do this option. Okay, so I mean, she puts you into block stun if you do that, but you can't really escape her because of that. If I walk back, I still get hit. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like down back, wait for whiff. And just try to hitting and just hitting her or jumping forward are probably the best things. Maybe jumping forward, seeing what she does. Putting her into pressure like that. That's how I would approach it. Jump back. See what she does. Jump back. Okay, so those are the, that's how I would do it. So here are the round start options. Ram 5k beats far slash. You need to keep this in mind. Ram far slash. What happens if we far slash? Do they trade? Maybe I think they trade. Oh no, I win. You're far slash. Ram far slash loses to chip far slash. But. Chip far slash loses to Ram walk back. So the best thing in my opinion to do, and you have to RPS here, is to either 
Down back and see what she does. Because if she does far slash, you could get a you could punish it with your Rekka. Or maybe I could 2D. Let's see what we could do. Optimally. I know we got a we get a far slash, but then it doesn't give us anything. Oh. Okay, so blocking far slash means that we could kind of probably dash block in between it. So that's probably pretty good. What about if we dash block when she does 5k? Let's see. Not bad. Not bad. Because we now know that 5k will beat anything that she does. And it keeps us safe. See that? Look at that. So dash... Dash block, pretty good. Not bad, not bad. So best options are jump back and air dash or dash block um, 2K or down block, down back and wait and react to whiff. I would cycle through these options. If we're talking about round start against Ram, based on what we just saw, based on what we lagged, this is what I would do. So round start kind of solved here. Okay. All right. What do we react to? So Ram in specific has a few special moves that you need to react to. We'll go over special moves first and then we'll go and look at her normals. Okay. So she has one special that's kind of good, which is... This one, this one doesn't come out often, but when it does come out, you have to be ready to react to it. So if we put her to do something, again, 5P is your friend here. Every character has a turn seal, okay? Every character, every matchup has something that you want to react to. This is one of them. Special moves that you can react to. Silto, with Silto Detrio. Flip kick, react with 5P. The next thing um, is whiffed buttons, okay? So against Ram, if you see here literally whiff anything, right? I'm talking with this. You need to check her immediately. Just like that. So when you are playing neutral against her, you're reacting to any button and you could react and punish it whichever way you want. 5k, bar slash, 2k, to do a little harder, 2s a little harder, just like you see, bar slash a little better. Okay, so react to with buttons, with buttons. That is the key to beating her. You cannot afford to let her get away with any with buttons. You have to hit her on every single one. I also like to jump at her a good amount when she is playing neutral. Because if she if she does this, right? Let's let's try it. Watch. If she's playing neutral and she does that, oh scary. But it's a guess, right? So if we're playing neutral, you could hit her like trying to do it. Oh my god, that's so fucking cheap. But it, it has to be like, it can't be like after it whiffs. It has to be like in neutral. So randomly you want to represent, let's make another one. What's the neutral like? Represent jump ins sometimes, like JH. Um, because if she throws any sort of normal out, you could hit her. 
But you can't abuse this because she does have a very strong 6P. Um, press 2K and 5K a lot. Buffer 5K, especially in neutral to force her to, to, to whiff something. Okay? You need to get her to whiff something. And basically, you want her to throw out far slash more. Um, and you want to force her to start using 2k, which nets her like less reward. So, force her to use 2k instead of far slash, because her far slash loses to our far slash, okay? Which is why you see SQ do a lot of like dash up 2k, because my far slash will beat her far slash on its startup and can be relatively abused in the matchup. But our far slash loses to her 2k, which will lose to properly spaced 5k or 2d. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Um, what could we punish on block? So Daru is very, very much punishable on block. Let's see what that looks like. So a lot of them, I don't even know how to do it. Oh, it's DP. A lot of them do this. What can we punish? What can we get? Full combo. We get two S starter. Every time that, that move comes out. We gotta do it quick. That's a pretty good, that's good damage. Good damage. So punish with 2S or far slash. Because you could also do far slash, I'm pretty sure. Yep, just like that. Maybe 2K also, or 5K. But that's not a lot of damage. Damn, we got fucking Big Daddy close slash on that. Punish with close slash. Uh, what else? What else? Um, she doesn't have. That's the thing that makes her so cheap, is that her specials are relatively pretty safe. What else does she have? Oh, her rekas. All right, let's talk about her rekas. Her rekas are really fucking annoying, because, um, on one hand, let's talk about this. The first one is basically a little punishable, right? The first one is minus five, which means if you IB it, we might be able to, we might be able to get like 5K maybe if she doesn't cancel it. Ooh, what's happening here? So we're getting 2K. Is 5P just really the fucking GOAT in this matchup and we just figured it out? Hold on. Holy shit. Okay, that punishes a 2k, but 5p trades there. So that's important to know. I mean, I think she could make it tighter, but it might be worth, it might be worth throwing out sometimes because it looks like, let's see. That was pretty tight. Oh no, I got smoked that time. All right. See, that's what makes fucking Ram cheap. Her record one, 
gives her the freedom to kind of do whatever she wants. You know what I'm saying? Which is why you see Rams like to do this. It's if she enforces RPS like Chip does with his records. Ram likes to do this. You know what I'm saying? They restart pressure after record one like all day because you can't really do anything about it. You know? So they do that a lot. So, which forces you to do shit like crazy like that. Right? That's a common Ram situation. So I could you I guess one thing to note is that you might be able to like is kind of delay react to her not canceling it, right? Hmm. But that's very very tricky. Very tricky. So that's the first that's the first record record. But the thing that makes her really annoying is the second Rekka, right? Because how many people have gotten hit by the second or third Rekka? Each one becomes progressively more punishing. So knowing like, knowing how to punish them all is really important. You might be able to also punish her second Rekka with DP every time. If you IB it. So learning the timing on IBs of the Rekka are, is like mandatory in the matchup. You see how I got a punish? It's so negative that you get a guaranteed punish if you manage to IB the second hit. Hmm, even if you don't. Whoa. How did I not know that? So DP, second one, is punishable with DP every time. Okay, so Rekka one is punishable by 2K. But risky. Rekka 2 is punishable by DP every time. Because she cannot go into Rekka 3, I'm pretty sure. No matter what you do. Unless. Let's see if she spaces it maybe perfectly. Right? But she has to be like on you. Every time you get a you should get a punish. So I would throw I would throw a DP after the second record literally every time. Okay? And then Rekka 3, if, if you do block a Rekka 3, choose your Punish. Rekka 3, pick your Punish, if she does it. So what do we keep in mind in the matchup? What do I like to keep in mind? I keep in mind that they like to approach with 2k a lot. So I have to press my 2d and 2k a good amount while still abusing far slash okay that's neutral so i'm gonna put that here what do i keep in mind you have to pay attention to her meter more important than most matchups because mortabato Kills you if you Gamma Blade. You can't Gamma Blade her when she has bar. It's super risky. I did it earlier against SQ, but don't do not do what I do. Watch. We'll do it on... Let's do it. On block. Let's see how much damage it does. So you guys could see. Okay. So check this out. 
Oh my god, look how much damage it did. Did you see how much damage it did? It did 95, 96%. Look at that. Never ever throw Gamma Blade when she has bar. Most of the time you're dead. So Mortal Bottle. So you have to really pay attention to her meter, okay? Mortal Bottle fucking hurts. Um, same when you do 6k pressure like that. You want to be able to like mix her up like with BRC. You know, BRC is good in this matchup for mix up purposes. Stagger Rekkas a lot when they have bar. Stagger Rekkas, but make them block strings. Be careful. Bait the bait the reversal. You have to bait the reversal. Try and bait it. When she has bar, try to bait the reversal. You have you cannot afford to get hit by Mortal Bata. So do a lot of staggers. Like this. And and punish her. Punish her hard. One other thing, one other thing. To make things annoying, uh Ram is heavy. Ram is a heavy character. Okay, which means she falls fast and you can drop your combo if you don't delay the Rekka. See that? See how it whiffs? You have to delay it. And even then it could be hard like that. So sometimes when you have bar, instead of doing the second hit... Because that's going to whiff sometimes. Just do one hit. One hit into super. Because the second hit isn't worth the... The extra 10 damage or whatever. You see that? How that whiffs sometimes? I've lost because... Because I've done this. Against her. And then she just fucking close slashes me and kills me. So it's not worth the the, the drop. Just do Rekka 1 into super. Against Ram. So this is it. This is Ram, I think. You know? Uh, what strings? Uh, what do we react to? Okay, so other things. Her block strings, right? We talked about this. Five K. We have to look at her five K, right? So five K into Rekka is one thing, right? We learned that five K into Rekka is interrupted by five P. So anytime you see five K, see five K, five P. Okay? She has to go into two D. Force her to go into two D because they like to fucking think that this shit is free. Nah. 5P, that shit. 5P the GOAT. 5P our savior. Because if she does 5K into Rekka, guess what? Guess what? 5P beats that too. So 5P the God in this. Anytime you block a, 5, a 5K, force her to go into 2D. Force her. Because if she does... If she does 5K into 2D, that's good. Especially from that range. If she does it from a close range, like that, she's forced to punish. She's forced to contend with your 5k there. Look at that. Punishable by 5k. If she does 2d, okay. If she does 2d, C2D, 6P. 5P, 6P are the gods in this matchup. Okay? So if you see a, a 2D, we could actually put her 
in blocks in block stun with our 6p. Remember, we should be careful. So input input four one two uh, three six when you do uh, Rekka from six p, so you don't get that. But you see that? Super important. Okay. So six p the god here, because six p uh, beats Rekka and it also beats Sword Toss. So if you see. If you see her do, uh, let's see this. Right? Very good option here. If she does uh, 6p into, into the into Rekka. If she makes it a string, you, your 6p doesn't come out. But if she makes it, like, slightly delayed, let's see. Oh. Oh, it looks like it does beat 6P if she times it right. Yeah, you see? Okay, 6P gets counter hit here. If I'm too close. If I'm too close, it gets counter hit. So maybe FDing the two the two D. No, that smokes it. Okay, so you gotta just respect it. That's unfortunate. Damn it, that actually beats the six P. Look at that. Bullshit. If they time it right. What could I do here? Okay, that beats the jump. The B back dash. Yeah. Okay, so 2 2K 2D into Rekka 1 is a thing. But you know what? We now know that if she does Rekka 1, um, she kind of can't go into Rekka 2. Because remember, if she goes into Rekka 2, she gets clapped. Can't do anything. Got to respect it. You got to respect the, two, the 2D. Unless you IB it. She can make it into a frame trap. Which is annoying. But. It has to be tight. See, cause if she, if she, if she makes it not tight enough, she, you get a, she gets punished. So it has to be perfect on their part. Damn, I'm getting it easy. Look at that. Yeah. It has to be perfect on their part. But you could definitely 6P. It just... It's not something you always want to do. So you gotta... Because if she does sword toss, also... That's important to note. Um, what about 2S? Let's see that string. They like to do... Um, that string, right? So is that loose? What if she does... What if she does... Uh, 5H? Let's see. Okay, my 6P doesn't even come out. Because there's so much fucking block string. Let's see. Okay, so after 6S, 2S, RPS with 6P. So here you go. 2S, 6P beats Sword Toss. And 5H. 
All right, what else? Fucking, um, let's see if 2S Rekka beats this. Okay, that's a string. Two S beats Rekka, bro. Also, so after two S RPS with six P. That's when you want to RPS. You see two S, use six P. Five K, use five P. Okay, two D and it's delayed. Use six P. Any OSs? Use two S backdash OS against her. Meaning, she doesn't ha when she doesn't have a reversal. You could double input your, you know, whatever. Because she doesn't have a reversal, you could double input 2S while you're jumping. And if she backdashes, you get the backdash caught like that. Okay? Always double input 2S after, back, after the, the jump like this, you see? Do the hit stop OS with chip on her. Two S backdash OS works. Unless she has Mortal Bato. Then don't do it. Okay? All right, I hope this helps. Fucking did a RAM fucking matchup investigation.